Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Jess here. What's up all my lovely people? Welcome back guys, welcome back. So I know you guys are so used to seeing Amir and Din Din, but today your girl decided to take over. <laughs> something different as you guys can tell from the title which is why you probably clicked it is um i'm putting you guys on some netflix shows i know some of you guys are bored in the house bored in the house bored bored in the house bored in the house bored or if you're not that's good um and if you need shows to watch that is where I come in, guys. I am going to put you on some Netflix shows that I was put on that I enjoy that I think you will enjoy. So, guys, if you're new to this channel, stop what you're doing. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. At the end of the video, if you enjoy this content, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like, 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 comment down below. Let's chat about if you have seen any of these um shows I've I am recommending, let's talk about um yeah, let's let's get friendly with one another. All right, with no further ado, we're going straight into video number one. Oh, by the way, I was thinking about doing a thriller um clip, but it's copyrighted, so definitely can't do that. So I will just give you like a brief summary on the shows that I recommend binge watching during this quarantine moment, guy. Video number one. Let's go. All right. So just a, an FYI, I did not put none of these shows from Lisa Favorite. First show is You. You, you, you. You has two seasons. Um, they are 45 minutes long, 10 episodes in each season. So brief summary on You or what You is about. It's about a guy. Main character name is Joe who falls in love with a girl and he then starts stalking her he starts stalking her to get to know her better um things take a turn when he decides to chop off people out of her life which he thinks is pulling her down like he goes around like eliminating people out of her life because he feels like those people are negative towards their relationship so he does <laughs> He does the job of eliminating them people out of her life. So um, he's very brilliant. Um, he is a man you can hate or you can love him, but you can't ignore him. Like he's freaking creepy. Um, it's a good show. I like it. Um, but you would never, ever want to meet a Joe in your life. Like ever, ever, ever. Because he's scary. He's real scary. So, two season, and I know there's going to be a season three because the way it ended, the way season two ended, yo, season two was real good. Like, he found his match because he's, he's such a stalker. Like, he knows stuff, but then, like, in season two, he kills, he kills the person he falls in love with in season one. In season two, what he was doing in season one, reverse, he found someone who loved him, who stalked him who is not doing the same thing like it was so crazy that he found i think the girl name was love in season two so yeah season um you is definitely a good show to get into show number two Shit's creek Shit's creek has five seasons 20 minutes long so yeah the episode aren't long at all but it does have um five seasons so Shit's Creek is highly addictive because of the clever, basic storyline. I love the show. It was funny, and, and, and it does have some heartfelt moments um, all put in, in the right place. So it's about a family named the, the Ross family. Consists of mom, dad, and their two children. So dad name is Johnny. Mom name is Mara. Yo, Ma, Mara is such a character. I love her. And their two children, Spoiler Brat, David, and Alexis. So they lose their fortune after being defrauded by their business manager. Then they're forced to rebuild their life in this small town called Schitt's Creek, which um, Johnny had 
brought from David. David is like the mayor in Shiskrete town. He brought it as a joke birthday gift way back in 1991. So now the Rosses, that's the family, they had to re relocate to Shiskrete, moving into this two small bedroom, raggedy, rundown motel. And then they just had to readjust their new life. Their, um, their well-to-do attitude comes into conflict with more um, problems with the people in Schitt's Creek, with the mayor, Roland. Roland is so funny. Um, so funny. But it, it's, I love it. Like, it was funny. Like, they went from rich to poor in the blink of an eye, and they just had to readjust their life. Definitely a show to binge watch during quarantine. Shit's Creeps, put it on your bucket list. Dead to Me is the next show. Dead to Me season two just came out yesterday, May 8th. So season two is now out. I have not watched it yet, but let's get into season one. So season one um, of Dead to Me. So it's about Jen, um, two main characters, Jen and Ju Judy. So Jen husband recently died in a hit and run and she found herself like having a hard time with the loss of her husband and she ends up in a support group where she meets Judy. The Their relationship is weird. I mean, it's like the type of relationship you would want to have, but guess who killed her husband? Yeah, crazy. If you guess, then yeah, I'm not going to tell you because you got to go watch it. But um, they grew so close together. They did everything together, like the best girlfriend type of relationship. But um, come to find out, she found out who killed her husband, asked her to stay away from her, and found out who helped, like who, who was really behind the hit and run. It really hurt her. Um, but then guess who dies? Guess who dies? crazy season two just came out um apparently judy and jen they're not friends um so i don't know like i can't tell you what's happening in season two but go ahead and watch it and then come back and go into the comments and comment down below what y'all think about season two of dead to me shameless <laughs> shameless is comedy drama drama and more drama so it's about the gallagher that is the family last name the gallagher's frank is the dad he got six children who spend and frank spends most of his time drinking and so the oldest daughter fiona has to raise um her siblings because the lack of absence of her mother and then her dad being a drunk uh, Fiona has it really hard because she wants her sibling to be the best of the best she wants them to be nothing like her nothing like the dad Frank or their their mother Monica so she's always pushing and going above and beyond she doesn't ask for anything she gets um, things done on her own by all means necessary like she's a go-getter she will have her kids, well, I call them your, her kids, but it's like her kids. She would have her sibling um, well-dressed, well fed, and never begging for anything. Like she believes in getting it on her own because she was left to be out here in the streets on her own. Nine season of Shameless. Like it's called Shameless because none of these folks got no shame. They got no shame. They got no shame. Shameless. Y'all, check it out. The next show is In the Dark. Personally, I found this show to be compelling and worth my time. So when I first got into this, I was like, yes! So Murphy is blind. She is the main character. Um, let's get straight into the point. So... This show is one of a kind you don't find. It's engaging, has engage engaging moments, intense growth, and lots of tears. So Murphy is a whole person. Um, she doesn't need much in her life. She doesn't have much. All she has is her, di um, her disability, which sets her back. 
So imagine not being able to see having your life messed up, not knowing which direction you want to go. And frankly, by the first episode, I knew this was a show um, for me. Um, so Murphy is screwed. She doesn't have the best of life. And she doesn't care. Like, she doesn't care about herself. Yet, I feel that she has a chance to grow. Um, she has her dog named Pretzel, um, who is like her guide dog. And um, she goes just about everywhere with um, her um, her dog, Pretzel. So she learned about her um, her friend, Death Tyson. He was um, just a teenager boy who um, helped her. Um, how did he help her? No, so Murphy was robbed and beat up in the alley. And then her friend, Tyson, happened to be there. And he came to her defense and kind of pushed all the people who were on top of her away. So since then, they became really, really close. And then just one day at the alley where they always meet, she felt like this dead body. And she knows, like, she knew how he felt. And I, throughout this story, it'll show, it'll t it'll show you, like, where, you know, he would say, touch my face. So he, she knew in that body it was him. And how many bullets were put into his head um it gets real intense it is so good but murphy for a blind person yo she is reckless i love her character love it love it love it check it out in the dark comment down below have you guys seen any of these shows that i have recommended so far i think this is show five good girls i love good girls too I think I love all these shows I'm recommending. So if I say, oh, I love this show, I love it. Good Girls, two season. Yes, there will be a season three. It consists of three mommy. And guys, if you're watching and you hear mommy, it's not a chick flick. It's funny. It's hilarious. I love it. Love is drama, comedy, um, crime film. So let me tell y'all about good girls two sisters beth and annie and they have a friend named ruby they become fed up with um they become fed up with playing by the rules and not getting the respect they deserve so they band up together to take control of their life by holding up a local grocery store y'all they rob the grocery store that annie was working at and her boss knew it was her how from the tattoo that was so crazy so crazy so background on beth beth's life beth is a perfect wife slash mother but her um but her used car dealing cheating husband has sent their family into a financial ruin like her husband was cheating and used up all their money ruby she's happily married to a police officer but she can't afford medical bills um, for her daughter. And then Annie is a single mom who's caught up in a nasty custody battle with her ex, who is now desperate for money. So because they all have financial issue, they start robbing, like money laundering, robbing banks, robbing grocery stores. Like they are mommy robbers like it was a good show again recommend watching it two season you'll like it you'll keep coming back and you're going to want to know when season three come out just like me working mom is another another show i'm recommending to binge watch working mom has four seasons um season four just came out last wednesday i already saw it so let me give y'all some tea on working mom so again like I said, I do like this show, and I would I would recommend it to anyone who doesn't take themselves too seriously. In reality, there are many moms out there who's just trying to find their sanity, feeling overwhelmed by the de by the demands placed on their place on them to balance work, life, kids, and themselves. So this mom shows how you know you can still be a boss mom, meaning you can still own your own business and still balance. Um, life at home like trying to raise um your children but 
there is one of the one of there is one of the mom who right now is having like teenager sort of issue i i guess she she can't relate to the daughter or the daughter feels like she really can't speak to her mom so in season four you'll see what end up happening if you end up watching the show again i would recommend it to anyone you don't have to be a mom you could be a stay-at-home dad too or you could be a father a single father who's just trying to balance life um and work and being a father or even if you're like a family man like you don't have to be a single father to watch the show definitely something i would recommend for families to sit down and watch together on my block is an amazing show it has over three seasons it's very interesting it's about four teenagers that live in free ridge california the show highlights gain love friendships and how they survive it through it all is very hilarious um there's some part that you are going to be busting out laughing you won't dis you won't be disappointed watching this show um i am highly recommending this show if you have any preteen or teenagers in high school or that are going to enter high school um this is something that i believe any teen or student or young young adult can relate to the peer pressure of life so and how they tackle it so yep on my block the next show on my list is all american all american is a dope show it's about a football a young high school football player spencer james and he ends up he lives in crenshaw crenshaw is like the hood and um his coach billy baker recruits him to join his team in beverly so beverly is like the white part of where they live at and so um he never had his dad growing up he don't know why his dad wasn't around but come to find out that his mom grace and billy baker has something to do with the reason why his dad was no longer in his life but he doesn't find this out until like lay way later into the way later into the show um so he's been given the opportunity to play at beverly hills his friend his friend coop his best friend convinced him it's an opportunity that happened once in a lifetime and for him to and for him to take it and to move out of crenshaw and make something better out of himself and later in his high school career recruiting time his father shows up he gets upset and angry and you know have all this resentment towards him for not being in his life and then finds out as to why his father was not in his life it wasn't and it wasn't an entirely good excuse but then i mean his father had his reason but again they they came together and they made a man later on you'll see what happened to his father and what happened to Spence, who got shot? It's real good. All American, check it out. Season two. It has two seasons. Will there be a season three? I believe so. I haven't heard anything, but the way it ended, like, has to be. Y'all, we made it to show number 10. Show number 10, last but not least, is Greenleaf. Greenleaf is about church drama. Really um church drama pastor pastor kids pastor wife pastor drama infidelity just secrets coming out is it's everything suspense you would keep watching because you want to know yeah so in a nutshell it's just like the green leaf family shows their human felon but they hang on to the lord his they hang on to the lord they hang on to the Lord's word and God's decision on their life. So despite of their drama, they still hold on to God, um, still see God blessing. Even if they go um, about doing it in a shady way, y'all see what I mean, shady, but they still, you know, like still have that faith in God. What's that song Donnie says? Like we fall down, but we get up. So yeah, they fall down and they try to get up. They try to get up. Four season. 
go check it out guys um yeah that's all for my 10 videos y'all if you have made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching this entire video and that just shows me that you guys are really interested in binge watching some netflix shows so leave me some comments in the below if you have watched any of these shows or if you have not go ahead and watch because your girl just put you on some netflix game if you are new please make sure you are subscribed hit that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up to our regulars guys let me know if you guys like the content of this video and with that being said guys i will see you in the next video bye